Shall we go and speak with Sir Lennart, Master? If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. The guide is most welcome. Good day, sir. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Come, I'll lead the way. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. When better to use this but in the midst of battle? Well, you ought not strain yourself, not in your current state. Those burns could easily have killed you outright. I expect it will be some time before you fully recover. One wakestone shard is a mere rock, but combined, they can work miracles. We ought to keep it with care, lest we lose it. This might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. Oh, 
I do some business with the apothecary, sir. Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? Suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir, I'd be most... Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And... We could make the fruit reborrant ourselves, or simply purchase them at Runa's Apothecary here in Mel. At last! It all becomes clear! Might we not comp- Hello again, sir. Say. Have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Oh, so this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like. Such moments make me proud to serve the Arisen. Shall we go and speak with Sir Lennart, Master? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Fancy look at my wares?
Always a pleasure. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. One can see far to the distance from here. We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. I quite agree. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance I dare say I've accomplished a few feats to be proud of at
Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. I shall sniff them out and mark them on you. Let us work together to honor the arisen. to have returned by now. Mayhaps it's time I went looking for them. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave... I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, now tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training which comes in very useful when... Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach, excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow, an exceptionally useful long-ranged weapon. At close range, however, a bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Aye, the secret to being a successful archer is maintaining distance between you and your foes. It is a vocation for those who seek to master the mystical arts. Magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells and aid their allies with magical support. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in counting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle, without allies to protect them. It is a vocation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades lack heft, though this grants them the advantage of speed. Thieves favor light armor, which leaves them more vulnerable to attacks than those of other vocations. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blade through sheer agility. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find, try them as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any. But I shan't take up any more of your time. <laughs> Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something?
In my line of business, patience is key. Do come again. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Who might have the answers we need? Should we ask around? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Can't afford to chin wag. For a moment to spare, I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding. A task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. A Saurian nest so near the village is worrying indeed. Let us see the explosive casks there as quickly as we may. I suppose tis so? Returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Very well. Speak with me once. It's about 
time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? You don't mind, sir. I've made you. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Think of it. Some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Each to their own. Make haste then. We must leave anon. Very well. Speak with me. Well, that appears to have to finish the job. I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose... But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest, and your task is done. A single jar of poison ought to send those Saurians packing. Only, do be mindful not to spill any on yourself, Master. And before I forget, look how many women we count among our number. And yet, no two of us are the same. Well 
done, Master. Those Saurians shan't dare approach the village for some time, thanks to your efforts. Such moments make me proud to serve the Arisen. Make haste, then. We must leave anon. Very well. Speak with... You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your efforts. And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better. Watching you got me thinking. Mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> or perhaps is a little... In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed a bit. That's that, then. Right, I say. That's a relief. to have returned by now. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, oh, excellent find. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. to have returned by now. Mayhap this time I went looking for. Yet if all were to befall him, I couldn't live with myself. Is that you, Norbert? Ah, oh, fie. I could Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? Brave fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. I've seen no sign of I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... This is a dangerous place. Understand? I, I, I'm not afraid of monsters. But it would hardly help anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now. So I thought, mayhap you'd go in my place. You look like you could manage those woods better than I. Please, sir. I worry for my brother. Many thanks. Right. As for where I think he's gone, go into the forest and turn when you reach the tree with the bird's nest, keeping the cliff to your right. Ah, oh, this won't work, will it? I could see the root in my mind's eye, but my feet know it better than I do. I don't think I could plot it on a map, and it's hard to describe, but my brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing for it. 
I'll have to show you the way. Just be alert. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon. I'll need you to watch over me. Keep me safe. You will, won't you? Right. In we go, then. My life's in your hands, friend. Our aid is required, Master. Let it...